Hello, hello, and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take your PDF clip art files or documents and erase the background and turn the elements that are on the PDF into PNG files with transparent backgrounds so that you can use them in your iPlanner, in your iBible, or while you're doing your scrapbooking on your iPad. Some of you may recall back in the day when we were purchasing PDF files and printing them out and cutting them out and using them for scrapbooking and planning on paper. But now that so many of us are doing things digitally and when we make purchases for stickers and clip art and things like that, they're coming in PNG form with transparent backgrounds. But if you're like me and you've got a whole big stash of PDF files and a lot of different designers still sell P PDFs so that you can cut them out and use them for paper crafting and they don't come with the PNG files, but I'm going to show you how to turn them into PNG so that you can use them crafting digitally. All right, so what you're looking at on my screen is actually a PDF from Illustrated Faith. And this one is called uh, Popsicle Prayer. And it's from Illustrated Faith, like I said. And as you can see, all the files that came with this package are all PDFs. There's no PNGs included in this package. But that's not a problem because we are going to erase the background and we are going to turn these into PNGs and we're going to be able to use them digitally. And I'm going to show you how to do this in Keynote for my iPad users. And I'm going to show you how to do this in Canva for those of you that are on a tablet. But first, if you're new here, my name is Sandy Cruz and I create products and videos, all things I. That is anything that you can do on your iPad or your tablet that you used to do on paper. If this sounds fascinating to you, be sure and subscribe and hit the bell so that you will be notified whenever I have new I stuff to share with you. Okay, so what I want to do is open up my Keynote. I'm going to show you how to do this in Keynote first, and then I'm going to show you how to do it in Canva. So for this, I am going to open up a window off to the side so I can multitask. All right, so the first thing I want to do, and this is my, on the right, we're looking at my Keynote. On the left is my Dropbox with all my files. All right, so what I want to do is I want to clean blank slide, what I call the drawing space or my artboard. Keynote calls them presentation slides. Many, many years ago, I decided when I had my first generation iPad that I was going to use Keynote for crafting and not presentation. So if you've been around me for a while, you know I think way outside the box and I don't follow the rules. And I decided that Keynote wasn't for the boardroom anymore many years ago. And so I use it for planning, scrapping, and Bible journaling on my iPad. All right, so I've got a clean artboard drawing space slide, whatever you want to call it. And what I want to do is I want to drag and drop this PDF onto my keynote slide. So for that, I need to get to the file and I'm just going to press hold and drag it over to my keynote slide. And that was easy enough. And if I move it up where the black background is, you can see it's got a white background and that's how it comes into keynote. So what I want to do is erase the background. And to do that, I'm going to hit the paintbrush and I'm going to tap instant alpha. And now I want to take my finger and put it in the white area because that's the area that I want to disappear. And I'm just going to slightly drag till I see blue around all of the shapes. And I'm going to continue to drag until the white is completely gone. And that looks good. So now I'm going to let go and then I'm going to tap done. If you don't like how it turned out, you can always hit reset and start over again. So let me hit done. And now if I drag this up to the dark area, you can see that the white is gone. All right. Now at this point, what I want to do is crop out one of the designs on this sheet. 
So to do that, I am going to double tap. And when I double tap, I can move these blue nodes up or down to cut out the sticker that I want. And you don't have to get it perfect the first time because it's kind of small on the drawing space. So I'll hit done and I'll make it bigger and then I'll double tap it again. And now I have a bigger piece to work with and I'll fine tune it now and then hit done. And then what I want to do is open up my good notes and this is my faith journal and I've got it open to a blank dot grid page. And what I want to do is press hold and drag it onto my space and here from here I can resize it rotate it if you want another one of those stickers you'll come back over to keynote and you'll just do your undo button as many times as you need to till you get the whole PDF back um, another thing that you can do is before you start cropping you can copy it and then all you have to do is repaste it once you cropped out the sticker. Okay so now we're going to do this in Canva so I'm going to go back to Dropbox. I'll put Dropbox there and then let's see do I have Canva open? I think I do. Canva and as you can see, I have already been playing with some of the designs. So what I'm going to do in this art space is I am going to add another slide. And then I want to open up my Dropbox on my side-by-side -side screen. And I'm going to go ahead and get the same PDF. So I'll click, hold, and drag. And then as you can see, it's bringing in that PDF. And I'll, I can go ahead and close my Dropbox. Once this is completed, I can go ahead and tap it and it'll add it to the active drawing space that's open. All right, it's done. So I'll go ahead and tap it. And so there it is. And it actually brought it in sideways. But when I activate it, I can go ahead and rotate so I can work with it like this. So if I change the color of the background it will show you that there is a white background on this PDF. And so we want to get rid of that. So I'm going to leave the colored background so you can see it real clear how we make that disappear. So I'll go ahead and tap it. I'm going to edit photo. And now I want to choose BG remover. That's background remover. And when the spinner stops, that's when it's completed its removal and it just automatically knows to take away the white. All right, so now what I wanna do is I'm going to crop one of these stickers out just by grabbing the handles. And Canva lets me zoom in really good so I don't have to do that extra step that I had to do in Keynote. All right, that looks good. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and change my background back to white. And then I also wanna make this bigger. And as you can see, it keeps its clarity because it was a PDF. PDF PDFs are usually used if for print, so they tend to hold their clarity. Whereas if this was a PNG file or an image file that we brought in to do this with, sizing it like that or growing it like that would have pixelated it. All right, so now what I wanna do is I want to export it. Unfortunately, I can't get it to my GoodNotes just by click holding and dragging it over. For some reason, that just doesn't seem to work with the Canva app. So I'm going to have to share it out. And I'm going to do that by tapping this share button. And now I want to download. And I'm going to choose PNG. It's already selected a PNG. But you can export into all these different files if you have a pro account. But PNG is what I want. And I am going to tap transparent background. And if you look over here, you see this crown 
icon, that means this is a pro feature. So if you don't have Canva Pro, you won't be able to remove the background and export it as a PNG, or you can export it as a PNG, but you won't be able to take the background away. All right, so I am all set here. Oh, I wanna make sure that I only get the one page. I don't want both of the pages. So I'm going to tap on the second page, page number two, and then I'm going to tap done and download. And now it asks me where I want to download it to, and I'm going to go ahead and save it to images. I can copy it if I want to and just go ahead and paste it, but I want a copy of it in my camera roll so that I can use it over and over again in different places on my iPad. So I'll go ahead and save image and it saved it to my camera roll. So now let's go ahead and open up my GoodNotes again and I'm going to tap on the image icon and there it is here up top. If I tap my screen, I can see a bigger version of it. And there it is. And it looks really good. It came in really nice and clear. It's not all pixelated, even when I grow it. And of course, you're never going to use it that big on your any of your planners or your journals. So there you have it. So if you have a stash of PDF files and you don't have the PNG files, you're not stuck. You can still turn them into PNGs and use the collections to plan and scrap and Bible journal digitally. If you enjoyed this video, be sure and like it so that YouTube will send other people to my channel so that they can learn all the neat eye stuff that I have to share. And until the next video, you have an outstanding day. Bye.